My first record was Counterpoint, uh, and that one I took traditional melodies in their whiskey before breakfast and and wind that shakes the barley and and stuff like mm-hmm. that and i and i was interested in harmony so i wrote uh harmony lines for a second banjo and um and record and played both parts and then put it in settings with i had marimba i had flute and accordion and and fiddle and stuff uh playing uh playing along with those along with harmonized banjo lines um and and that uh that one was <clears throat> that was my that was my first work that was all um was all traditional and 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 i you know david i i i count my lucky stars i i had lots of f- famous people endorse my work and and um and su- and support me i i i along the way i um, before I did that record, I had, I got hired by the Old Town School of Folk Music and I was the program director there. And, and, uh, and I started making all kinds of changes because the school had kind of hit a real low point. Uh, okay. bef- uh, and I was, the uh, at that point, I was the third full-time employee. There was the executive director. There was a woman who answered the phone. And then, uh, and then I got, first it was a halftime job, uh, program director, one hundred sixty-five dollars a week uh, in nineteen eighty-four, and uh, and it quickly uh, doubled, uh, you know, to full time and twice that much money. And uh, and uh, <laughs> and then, but it, here I was like, here's a school that uh, that I had uh, kind of at my disposal, and he's like, mm-hmm. and Chicago is an immigrant city. There are people come all over, from all over the world to Chicago, and so right. there's all these great musicians, and it was my job to go find them all. And uh, and get them to teach, and so started doing that. At at, at that point, um, uh, there were we had two hundred students at this school when I when I first started, and uh, and when I left fifteen years later, we were up to forty five hundred students a week coming through, and, uh, and the the place just you know blossom and blossom because oh, there were all these there were all these great players, and there was all this access, and along the along the way, um, Pete. Seeger, uh, Pete, he was on the mailing list, and Pete uh, wrote me a letter uh, out of the blue. I get this letter out of the blue from Pete saying, Dear Michael, uh, looks like you're doing good things at the Old Town School. Keep up the good work, your friend Pete. And I'm like, oh, my wow. God. Here's like this living legend has just wrote me a Reached letter. Reached out to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, 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 wrote, I wrote him back. I said, Pete you know, I can't believe you wrote me a letter for God's sakes. And, uh, 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 but thanks for doing that. And, uh, and I said, um, I said, here's my, um, here, you know, here's a couple of things that I did. And at that point, counterpoint was half done. It was on a cassette and, uh, uh, and, uh, and I hadn't, hadn't quite finished it yet. Um, I sent it to him and I, you know, and I, and I said, here's a, and here's a book I had gotten hired by kicking mule records to, uh, to write a book as well. And, uh, and, um, Pete wrote back after he listened, you know, about two weeks after I sent him the tape and he said, dear Michael, this is one of the most beautiful recordings I've heard in all my 70 years. It's enough to make me want to learn the banjo all over again. And I was was like, Oh my God, (laughs) Pete, (laughs) I can't believe this, you know? And, uh, and so, that was the beginning of 25 years of uh, correspondence back and forth uh, wow. uh, with Pete. Uh, you know, and we talked about education. We talked about politics because I, I was running the Old Town School, and I was then I was the president of the Folk Alliance for a couple of years, and uh, and 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 trying to, you know, and Pete uh, Pete was always always uh, volunteer. You know, he was always stepping in to help, and he and and encouragement. Encouragement mm-hmm. was what what he did. I mean, he did this for me, but he did this for lots of other people. Where you know he'd find somebody doing something that he agreed with and that that he believed in, and he would you know he would let you know. 